battle between these two. How's it going everyone? This is Kevin. Today I want to bring along with me to showcase the Joby Gorilla Pod versus the Switch Pod to see which one is the best vlogging tripod. So let's jump right into- Wait, wait! Alright, that was just a joke. Actually, my wife kind of tilted it around because I am going to be talking about the pros and cons for kind of both of them and the reason why I chose to go with the Switch Pod over the Joby Gorilla Pod due to some stuff that were kind of showcased in that intro video. But we're gonna get right into it and kind of just go down the list of the reasons why. So you finally got your camera and you're ready to start vlogging. You have your setup ready and you know, you're ready to start getting that vlogging action and you're wondering what do the usual YouTubers use? Now if you follow most of the YouTubers, they kind of have this little Joby Gorilla Pod that is very bendy and you know kind of flexible to do a lot of things with it but I'm going to kind of talk about why the Switch Pod in my opinion is a lot better than this little thing right here. Now say hello to Switch Pod. So I've been using the Switch Pod ever since basically my Joby Gorilla Pod had a little bit of a minor accident. It has just a little crack right there which is kind of hard to tell on camera but you just don't have to believe me. But I've been using the Switch Pod ever since because it is just so much sturdier and safer. Yes, you're correct. I won't get the flexibility and I guess the bendiness of this kind of Gorilla Pod but I'm gonna tell you and show you what I really use the Switch Pod for and how it's a lot nicer and safer in my opinion than using the Gorilla Pod. So I used to use my Gorilla Pod before the Switch Pod until obviously, like I said, I had this little minor accident with it. They actually sent me one before one to fix because it broke and they sent me this one to replace it and it kind of broke in the same spot, which to me, something that is very supposed to be flexible and sturdy wasn't so flexible or sturdy. And if I'm putting a camera setup this expensive, I don't want this to be breaking to possibly break my stuff. And with the switch pod, it's pretty easy to kind of one-handed just put it right there and be good to go whenever it comes down to creating because the magnetic legs just kind of swivel around together to put up a fast and easy kind of style. And then you can kind of swivel it back around to be ready. And now with the Gorilla Pod, that was a little bit harder to do. I would have to make sure that it's nice and sturdy. And this right now is actually sliding across that while you know, this has a little bit more sturdiness because it only extends so far. And with this one right now, it's just, I wouldn't trust myself to even put this heavier lens that people say it's heavy because of the 35 to 150 Tamron with the a7 IV to put on that right now. So that alone already is kind of giving me, me more peace of mind for usage when it comes onto the switch pod over the Gorilla Pod. So yes, you do get the flexibility that you can kind of put around tree branches if you want to and everything. But I'm gonna take stability over flexibility when it comes down to having a vlogging tripod that I'm on the go and just want faster and easier access to get the shots that I know I can get despite of kind of being more versatile with this one to maybe put it somewhere that you can kind of, you know, swivel it around and hopefully be safe to keep your camera on. But with that said, I mean, to me personally, I like the sturdiness of the switch pod because when I'm on the go, I just wanna be able to kind of vlog and everything nice and easy like this, but also be able to just put the camera down a lot faster since when you're kind of a run and gun vlogging, you don't have much time to make sure that everything is super secure. And for me, the gear that I'm invested in is quite expensive and I don't want something like this to put in jeopardy all the hard gear that I've worked very hard to get. So now with this one, obviously you can get a little bit creative with the points where you kind of maybe be able to put it flexible type kind of scenario, I guess. But the same thing with this one, it'll just kind of make you get creative with it because I can set it up right here to then get a shot going that way. I can put it now nice and low or in a sturdy kind of section and still get my shots that I want to get. I just might have to maybe think outside the box just a little bit more compared to just maybe wrapping this around. But like I said, I prefer having that sturdiness over this flexibility because I've already had it where this broke and almost broke my camera. And I honestly don't want that to happen to all of the newer gear that I've gotten now because, well, 
these are not that expensive compared to uh, most kind of little tripods kind of vlogging type ones so for me it shows with the price and now this has been kind of the style of setup i have for vlogging obviously i'm having my microphone over there i switched the, the lenses around but this allows me to just vlog a lot easier and have a nice sturdy grip on this because it's nice with the little kind of holes i guess that you can kind of put your fingers on and i've been using this for quite a while now and i think it's a phenomenal setup the gorilla pod is quite nice because you can bend it to what you want it to be a little bit more but at the same time, for a lot faster setups, it, it takes a little bit more getting used to, in my opinion, to make sure that it's fine whenever you want to put the camera down. Because I can just kind of go right here, put it right there, and I'm good to go. But that's just my thoughts on these two little kind of vlogging tripods and wanted to kind of showcase my opinion and experiences with them to see if it'll help you out with your camera setup since you're probably watching this because you want to start vlogging more and more securely as well. But now I'm curious, would you pick the Joby Gorilla Pod or the Switch Pod that I'm currently you know back to filming with because stability which one would you pick between both of them are you kind of more geared to one or the other or do you not know because you've never tested them out or you've already bought one and you know you chose that one because you loved it or you might now hate it i'm curious to know your thoughts on that one leave a comment down below would love to have a discussion with you guys and it would help me out to you know learn more about what you guys are using to know well maybe i'm in the wrong or maybe i'm in the right so let me know down below but with all that said and done guys thank you so much for watching this video make sure to like and subscribe share this video with a friend i'll catch you guys in the next one see ya so what are you waiting for i don't know do something <laughs>